Hey guys, so I am making just a quick video to try to help you remember the seven perspectives of psychology. So what I need for you to do is I need for you to get a white sheet of paper and um, I want you to trace your hand on the paper. Okay, this is going to be like your little um, note sheet to try to help you remember this. So trace your hand on a piece of paper. This is what I want it to look like, something kind of like this and then just have seven perspectives. And um, as I'm talking through the perspectives, I want you to write on this hand and I'll tell you how to do it as we go, okay? Okay, so the first thing I want you to write down on the thumb is write down psychodynamic. So it should look something like this. So psychodynamic on the thumb. And what's gonna help you remember psychodynamic is um, the psychodynamic perspective is when you, um, so Freud's idea was that um, your past memories, so if you think of like in the past, could be repressed in your mind and they could be um, affecting you subconsciously. So it was all about these, you know, um, unconscious conflicts happening within you that you are not um, aware of that. Um, and he would do things like hypnosis and um, he would have you um, analyze your dreams to try to pull out those unconscious, the things that are back in your mind from your past that are still affecting you today. So if you think psychodynamic is your past memories that are within you, um, they're deep in your brain, in your unconscious that are affecting you today. So thumb. Okay. Okay, so next we're doing cognitive. So cognitive, if you think of cognition, is your thinking. And I want you to write cognitive on the index finger. So something kind of like this. So the cognitive perspective is um, the perspective that psychologists take when they're focused primarily on thought processes. So um, things like um, memory, um, um, you know, abnormal thinking, maybe it's, um, forgetfulness, um, maybe it's negative thoughts, whatever it is, it's something that's dealing with your thought processes. And so cognitive psychologists are thinking about the, the thought processes that we have. Um, so if you think of cognitive thought processes, so it's like, aha, I had an idea that was a thought. Okay. Okay, so the third perspective I want you to write on your hand is behavioral, and I am not going to show my middle finger for you, but I think you got it. So the behavioral perspective is the idea that that psychologists take where they focus on learned behaviors. So if you think of holding your middle finger up at someone, that's a learned behavior. So you have um, learned to do that through maybe observing someone. Um, someone else did that, and so you they modeled that for you. And so now when you're angry, you do that. It was a learned behavior. So behavioral psychologists write that on your middle finger. Um, they focus on learned behaviors, things that you can observe. Okay, now you're gonna write on your um, ring finger on your hand, and you need to write humanistic, humanistic. So the, re the reason why you're writing humanistic on this finger is this perspective is um, a perspective where um, the psychologists are really focused on the person and they're focused on their, um, their goals and making them the best person that they can be in the present and they're not focused on the past and they're not they're just wanting to set goals for them to make them the best person they are and so if you think of your ring finger and relationships and your relationships um, hopefully are making you the best you you can possibly be and so you have great friends and that's what they are doing for you and so if that helps you think of relationships on that finger they're making you the best you you can be. Okay, so the last one is your pinker, pink, pinky finger, and you're going to write biological on your pinky finger, and so it'll look something like this. Um, the reason why you're writing biological on your pinky finger is because maybe if this is a memory tool that's helpful for you, um, your brainstem is about as big as your pinky finger. And so if you think of your brainstem, that'll help you think of biological because a biological psychologist um, is focused on um, the brain and how um, the brain chemistry makes you who you are. And so a biological psychologist is going to look at the way you behave and um, the way you think and they're going to explain it through your brain chemistry. Um, and, and so that's a biological psychologist. 
Okay, so we've done five fingers, but we have seven perspectives. So now you have to write on the palm. Okay, so on the palm, I want you to write social cultural. And the social cultural perspective, this is the perspective where we, um, or a psychologist would explain the way you are through how society and how culture has molded you. And so if you think of giving somebody a high five, that's a social gesture that you've learned. And so if you think of social cultural on your palm, then hopefully that'll help you remember that um, social cultural psychologists are going to look at how society has molded you. Okay, so we've done the five fingers, we've done the palm, that's six, and we have seven perspectives. And so on your hand that you've drawn on your paper, I want you to draw a little hand, or I'm sorry, a little finger that's off of the side there. We've got this invisible finger, and I want you to write evolutionary in there. So this is your sixth finger. And so um, hopefully if you, if you draw like a little sixth finger coming off your hand, um, that'll help you think of um, the evolutionary perspective where you have now evolved and you have a sixth finger. Um, and so the evolutionary psychologist, um, they are going to look at the world and try to explain your behavior through um, the evolutionary ideas that you have evolved to have those behaviors or through survival of the fittest you have those behaviors or um, through your parents passing on genes to you, you have developed those behaviors. And so they're going to look at it through an evolutionary perspective. So you're going to have a sixth finger there. Okay, so just to sum it all up, the seven perspectives, that is just the way a psychologist views the world, and so they might view it through a different lens, one of the seven perspectives, and that's going to affect how they explain behavior and how they explain the thought processes depending on what approach they take.